Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at an off-grid battery charging product. So this is going to be the Optimate Smart Battery Charger designed for DC to DC or 12 volt battery to 12 volt battery. So this is a little different than the other battery chargers because this is designed for, let's say you're in the middle of nowhere and you have a dead battery in your camper. You can actually use the 12 volt battery in your vehicle to charge it back up. And this is different from jump starting a battery because it has an algorithm. It's a smart battery charger in order to help revive that battery and even bring it back to full life. So we'll talk about how it works as well as what situations you might be in where this will be helpful for you and why it's definitely an upgrade from just plain old jump starting your old battery. But first, and most importantly, what type of battery do you have? Because you need to make sure that this can work with it. So this works with your AGM, gel, STD batteries. This is an AGM deep cycle battery in this teardrop camper. This can also work with your lithium batteries, even those with battery management systems. And your source battery is usually the 12 volt battery on your car or your truck or whatever vehicle you're taking off road. Now with that though, you can't charge a dead battery with a dead battery. You need to have at least 11 volts in your current source battery for this to work. So this is usually the setup you'll have when you take your camper off-roading. You've got your off-road Jeep, you have your off-road teardrop, but to really see how smart this battery charger is, we'll put it to the test and I'm gonna pull up my Prius and see if everything works out and if it charges safely and smartly. First, check your battery's location. Make sure they are accessible and you're able to reach both batteries with the included either clamps or the ring terminals. Now, also make sure that you have enough time to charge your battery. For example, it should take about half of the amp hour of your battery to charge fully. If you have a 10 amp hour battery, it'll take no more than five hours to charge it all the way. Speaking of amp hour, that's gonna be the capacity of your battery and ideally your source battery should be at least one and a half times your target battery. Connect your positive clamp to your positive terminal and then connect your negative clamp either to the ground or the negative terminal. At the top of your charger is where you connect your source battery. This has a short wire, which means that your charger stays near your source battery. So make those connections. Your first LED light will flash for five seconds, and then your other lights will blink twice. And then you're gonna have your three and four. So your save and charge lights will flash for a minute showing that they are ready to connect to the target battery. So that sequence there just shows you that this charger is ready to go. You can do the same thing at your target battery with the little clamps. In our case here though, I installed the ring terminals for our Optimate charger. That way it stays on longer. Whenever I need to charge it, I just take off the dust cap and then I can plug in. Whichever method you do choose, go ahead and connect your ready charger to your target battery. You'll know it's charging if you can see either the LED light number three or LED light number four light up. In our case here, we've got a pretty good battery, so it's on the charge mode. But if our battery was extremely flat, it would go into the save mode first. How that save feature works is that it pushes a maximum of 200 milliamp hours towards your target battery. So it just gives it a little bit just so it can safely and gently get up to an 8.8 .8 voltage. Now once it's able to accept that amount of current, it then switches to the next phase because it shows that that battery has been saved and is now ready to charge. So your battery can be pretty low, but it can't be completely dead. You need at least two volts for it to be saveable. And what the, this does in the save mode is it pushes to only 200 milliamps of current into the battery. That way it can gently get it up from at least two 
all the way up to 8.8 .8 volts. Once it gets to that current, you're then able to push a little bit more. It changes from the save mode into the pulse mode. So the pulse mode is it just delivering two amps in pulses, getting your battery ready for a normal battery charge. Now, depending on what type of battery you have, whether it's lithium or AGM or SCD, the actual current will be a little different. For AGM, it's about 12.2 volts. Once it reaches that, you're then into the charge mode. So that's usually around 50% of battery life. So I've been sitting here for a while. We've been in charge mode for a good amount of time. The maximum time this will stay in this mode is 48 hours, by the way. It'll automatically shut off after that. And this is currently pushing about two amps into the target battery. This is where I start wondering about my vehicle source battery. And I'm wondering if my Prius is gonna start back up because if you have under 12 volts, it will just push one amp. At 12 volts, it'll push two amps, and we'll see if we're gonna run out of amps. So our first indicator light actually turned on, and that means that our source battery, the one in the Prius, is below 12 volts. It's actually gonna continue charging and pushing one amp to the target battery all the way until we go below 10 and a half volts. So that's not that much. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect this. Now let's see if the vehicle still turns on. Yep, car turned on, everything's going. Engine's gonna start in a little quick second. We're still good. With how it was able to automatically shut off before our voltage dropped too low, we still have enough power to start the car. I plug this back into my battery to continue charging our camper's battery. So there's some pros and cons to this being a two amp charger. The pro is that you know it's going to protect your source vehicle battery. You do not want to be stranded in the middle of nowhere, unable to get home. On the other hand though, it's going to go very slowly. Compared to Optimate's larger chargers, where it pushes more than two amps of current, this is going to take some time. You may have to be plugged in for like five hours to get a full charge. Optimate is really proud of the way they charge things. So rather than just giving a steady current, it actually delivers different pulses. That's why it's called the smart charger. So the different pulses are designed to get you to fully charged as fast as possible. Once you get to fully charged, this will light up and then you go into the maintain mode. And then it is smart enough to figure out if it can hold a charge or not. Then it does different things to keep you up at 100%. You can actually keep your battery maintained 24 seven for an extended period of time, meaning weeks at a time. Obviously, this will not be the position. You're gonna wanna get your car and go drive somewhere. So that's usually when people take out a separate 12 volt battery and that's what's connected to their camper battery. If that's what you're doing, just double check your connections at least once every two weeks to make sure everything is flowing properly. This is safe for long-term use because the case is a weatherproof case. I've seen people keep this outside actually. And if you want to mount it, you can use these four little holes with some zip ties or cable ties to keep it close to your source battery. All in all, I'm really happy with how this charger worked out. Yes, it moved very slowly with charging up our camper battery because it only pushes a maximum of two amps. But even with that, having the versatility of maybe I'm in the middle of nowhere and I do not have an outlet to plug into and my camper batteries need some charging or maintaining, this is a great way to do it. I can plug it into my vehicle or to a separate 12 volt battery. Now, we did charge it with a Prius battery today, which is a very unique situation. The upsides to it was even once we got below 12 volts, all I needed to do was disconnect, turn my car on, charge my 12 volt battery back up, and then I could reconnect to the camper. So obviously most people will not be doing this, but it was really nice to put this charger to the test and just see how it all works out. If you do not need an off-road solution and maybe you want something for at home or when you're parked that you can plug into an outlet and give you a faster charge, check out our other options here at eTrailer. Optimate has larger chargers that can give more than two amps. 
They could be the select battery chargers, the smart battery chargers. You can use our videos and product pages and descriptions here at eTrailer to find the best fit for you. Right here, right now, this was a look at the Optimate 12 volt DC to DC battery charger at eTrailer.com. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.